we like to say we're a uh, small unit that does big things and we turn scientists' ideas into reality. Welcome to Naval Air Station, Patuxent River, Maryland. We're the home of the Warlocks and uh, Scientific Development Squadron 1. I think this is the most interesting squadron I've been a part of because we're just, we're really on the tip of the spear here. We're, we're kind of paving the way into the future, testing mission equipment that folks in the fleet haven't seen yet. So we know the future capabilities and, and that's just a really cool thing to be a part of. Here at VXS-1, we have a number of airborne platforms that uh, support our mission. One is the P-3 Orion, which is an all-weather platform. It can go anywhere in the world. It's a heavy lift aircraft. It's a four-engine propeller plane and a uh, very capable aircraft. Uh, another aircraft in the inventory is a C-12. We've modified it for science and technology. It's a low-wing, twin-engine propeller aircraft, but uh, fills a medium weight and uh, medium range capability. The UV-18 Twin Otter behind me is a uh, takes it to the the lower envelope as you can see it's a twin engine propeller plane as well but it fills the low speed low altitude science and technology capability it's it's awesome to fly you know it's short field takeoff short field landing so completely different than some of our other assets uh, a little bit slower uh, unpressurized so we fly a lot lower uh, than we normally would so it's it's really fun to fly we're very excited about the arrival of this new uv-18 twin otter to the squadron it's a platform that we haven't had uh, in the past. It's uh, going to add a great capability to our squadron to be able to support the uh, research scientists at a very cost-effective solution. It's, it's going to allow us to make modifications quicker. It's going to allow us to make modifications at a cheaper cost, which is all beneficial for the scientists because they're going to be able to get their research done at a faster rate and at a more cost-effective solution for their budgets. It's nice here, you get to see the technology before it hits the fleet. We get to be hands-on and kind of integrated in the, with the scientists as the stuff rolls to the test community and then further on to the fleet as an asset later on station. The best part is going to be being able to run more projects for the squadron, just the expanded capabilities we can offer to scientists now at a reduced price. I, I just foresee great things for the Otter and and the expanded capabilities it brings to test in the Navy.